Hey guys, Retro Badger here. Welcome to the next episode of Star Trek Online. And some pretty weird ships around here, making some very weird noises. So the next mission we're up to is called The Vault. And I've actually done this once, no, twice now, and I've had technical issues unfortunately. So, third time lucky hopefully. The Romulans had a base, known as the Vault, that they used for research into Borg technology. This facility was abandoned in the chaos after the destruction of the Romulan homeworld, but intelligence suggests that the work there was far enough along that it was used to replicate Nero's ship before it disappeared along with Ambassador Spock's vessel in the Hobus system. Long-range sensors have detected energy spikes in the Halcona system, and Starfleet Intelligence believes that someone is bringing the Vault back online. We need to know who, and more importantly, we need to know if there is still Borg technology or restricted weaponry on that base. I need you to proceed immediately to the Halcona system and investigate the Vault. Engage if you must, but I would prefer if you could gather the information we need without conflict. Okay, so we need to investigate the Vault and find out what's going on. Okay, so let's use Transwarp. Right, so let's enter the Sierra system. So we need to go to Starbase 39. Okay, and thank you to our resident comedian, Dylan McDonald. I now have a full crew. I actually had a workspace that wasn't being used, or a station, and now it is. Hopefully in combat, we should be more effective. Right, let's go down to the station. There we go. So, we need to go and speak with Lieutenant Ferrer. Wow, this is one big room. I would love this as an office. Okay, let's see. In order to avoid drawing too much attention, you need to fly under the radar, so to speak. Admiral Tanay has authorized the requisition of a shuttlecraft for you. You can fulfill the requisition in the shipyard. Once you're ready, take the shuttlecraft out to the Hakona system. If you have a runabout, fighter, or other such craft available, feel free to use it, but do not approach the system in a starship. We want to avoid the notice of whoever's in the vault. A shuttle will also be able to dock with the vault and explore the interior. Cool. Any questions? Very well. Remember, you must use a shuttlecraft, runabout, fighter, or similar small operations craft to undertake this mission. We need on-site intel from the interior of the vault. Starfleet will not clear you to enter the Hakona system otherwise. Good luck. Okay, well, as I've already done this mission, I don't need to get a shuttle, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do it because it took me ages to figure out. So, we need to go over here to requisitions. There's a certain order of doing it, and if you don't do it right, it never shows up. Cool Starbase. Okay, here we go. So, from what I remember, we need to speak to this person. Yeah, I still to report to you. And what happens is, when you click this the first time, you hear like a noise, and it means you've got the token. And when you have the token, that means you can actually go and buy the shuttle. So, ship and shuttle. 
Now, believe it or not, it took me ages to find the shuttle. I had to scroll through loads. And there is a drop down. And what I ended up doing... <laughs> there's probably a much easier way of doing this. But what I ended up doing was just uh, clicking all of these ones off. And... Oh, look at that. And basically it came up there. And I was able to just buy it that way. But you have to speak to that guy who we just spoke to over there. Get the token, come over there, and then you can buy the shuttle. But it took me absolutely ages to figure that one out. It just was not... It was not easy to do, basically. So, we've got the shuttle. So what we can do now is just beam back up to the ship. Oh, there's some cats over there. Now, I was worried about this next bit. Because... We have to go to that system, but we're not allowed to use the starship. But you still turn up to the system in the starship, and then you get in the shuttle and go in. Because I thought, like, well, how do I fly the shuttle? But we have to go there first. So, let's leave here. Okay, well, we don't want to go back in there, we want to go there. Hakona. Plus, of course. And... Oh, here we go. So our transwarp is cooling down right now. Here we go. Now, what I did with my shuttlecraft... Whoops, wrong button, wrong button. I actually equipped my own weapons to it. So we have a phaser cannon and also a Mark II phaser array. And I got to be honest, it helps because uh, with this mission, you will get in some firefights and you're going to be in a Federation shuttlecraft. So you need all the help you can get, basically. We'll be using that shuttlecraft to its limit, basically. Okay, here we go. Ooh, the Voth. What are they doing back in town? Here we Obviously, go. Obviously, this station isn't as abandoned as Intel suspected. Sensors are reading several Riemann ships in the area, and that's just the ones that we can spot. That station is immense. It must have taken an incredible amount of manpower and technology to build it. It's almost the size of a small moon. Sensors are reading a sophisticated tachyon detection network, as well as several patrolling vessels. For an abandoned station, this facility certainly has a lot of activity. My people are experts at stealth technology. If we want to approach unseen, we must avoid confrontation and find a way to evade or jam their sensor grid. We must assume that if we engage the ships here, they'll notify whoever is left on the station and it may become difficult to find an entry point. Okay, so we have to avoid the enemy patrols because we're in a shuttlecraft and we really don't want to get discovered here. So we need to fly towards these objectives on the map. Yep, here we go. I'm going to go to this one first. Yep, we're in a Federation shuttlecraft here. The graphics look really good on it. Oh, here we go. That asteroid looks a little suspect to me. This asteroid is unusually large, and it's clearly been mined. It was probably used for raw construction materials, like most of the debris here. This particular asteroid contains pergium, titanium, and uranium. It was probably tractored from a nearby system and brought here to construct hull components and power systems. We could probably cut a piece from the asteroid with our weapons for further analysis. Right. So let's fire. Yeah. 
and it looks like the fragment has picked up a bit of residual energy from our weapon burst. It'll be radiating energy for a while. Other than that, it's just a rock. Okay, let's go to the next bit. Alright, got to avoid these ships as best we can. Oh, rooms. Yeah, you don't want to get in a fight out here because, well, we're in a shuttlecraft for starters. We've got no torpedoes and there's quite a few of their ships. I did get discovered the first time around playing this. I was being a bit careless though, so... Oh no! Well, you're gonna see what happens now. Let me just fly to our next objective. Pretend we're not there. Are they chasing us or not? Oh. Okay, we might be able to evade them. Let's increase power to the impulse engines. I don't know if they're chasing us. They might have lost us, actually. I think we've evaded them. Oh, brilliant. There we go. You don't always have to fight your way out of things. This thing... Let's get a bit closer. Oh, I've just gone past one, haven't I? Oh, well, let's just do this. Looks like they left this satellite as a communications booster for their short-range worker shuttles. Fortunately for us, it's still active. Unfortunately, it's heavily encrypted. Traffic analysis shows that the network routes its communications through a series of nodes at the station's dorsal peaks. If we flood them with excessive signal, it could cause the network to be unable to handle any signal traffic, which would give us a brief window to slip in. The alerts wouldn't go off because the station would never get the signal. We'll still have to avoid the patrols and make sure we don't get too close to the station until we make the broadcast. Okay. Let's check out the thing that I just missed. Oh gosh, they're getting close. I did not think this one through. That thing? I think it is. Full power to the shields. I don't really see the point of fighting because I'm telling you, we can't. It's not going to make a difference, basically. Right, I think that's what we have to fly towards. Hopefully it will let me do what we need to do, but I doubt it. All our weapons are at the front, aren't they? Reinforce the aft shields. Mm -hmm. Oh dear, no! Ah! Okay. That did not go to plan. Let's respawn. Where are we? Ah, there we go. We respawned. Okay. Let's check. Oh, they're still there, aren't they? I'm not even sure if we have to do this final bit actually, because we've we know how to get into the station now. Oh, examine derelict ship optional. Well, we'll give it one more shot, I think. Assuming that's the derelict ship. Indications are that this vessel was refitted for asteroid mining. Apparently, a containment failure in the engine core led to a massive radiation surge. The engine went into emergency shutdown, but all of the couplings and injectors were burned out. The crew probably died due to instant radiation burns. It looks like the vessel was stripped for parts and left derelict. Okay. We've done all the objectives. Now, 
We need to get into that thing. Full power to engines again. Jam station scanning controls with packet storm. Okay. Approaching the Tachyon grid perimeter. If we're detected by it, that will definitely alert the Remans. Station sensor hub jammed. Hey, there we go. Now then, where's the front door? Oh, okay. Picking okay, up some unusual in. energy readings. We'll need to explore the accessible interior areas and see what we can find. Looks like there's another access conduit across from us. We'll have to think three-dimensionally in here. Sensor readings are also picking up a few scattered life signs. Okay. Wow. So yeah. Um, I've been inside this, I've done this mission twice now, and I still forget how big this place is, it's huge. Love the colours as well. So what we need to do is we're going to have to get through this door. It took me absolutely ages to figure this out for some reason. I tried flying all the way up there, all the way down there, and I got lost. So this is where we need to go. Okay. So we're in a tractor beam here, so let's fire. Ah, reinforce the forward shield. Right. So we need to get through this door, but there's a security system. Now you have to be really, really careful here, because if you muck this up, it gets a lot more complicated as I have done. The doors are a massive set of interior bulkhead doors. They're segmenting the different parts of the base. Possibly a safety measure in case something went wrong in one of the central areas. Access appears to be controlled by use of security keys. We can disable it if we can find a code block that matches part of a security key. Okay. So if we scan the turret... This defense turret hooked into part of the security network. There we go. There's a security code in its subsystem. Code block 6750. Right. So what we have to do security is wait rotation. for this. Each code block matches a piece of one key. Key in the appropriate code when the rotation matches to it. Trying a code on the wrong rotation will probably invalidate that code. Yep. So be careful with the timing. So if we don't time this right... Okay, so let's do it. That's it. Yes! Well done. We should be able to bypass the system and gain access now. So basically, if you don't do that correctly, as I didn't the last time, it causes a lot of extra work for yourself. And yeah. So just make sure you get the timing correct with that, and you'll be fine. Right. This that almost looks this like Stargate Atlantis to me. Delta flyer. Yeah, it's got a Lantian feel to it. Oh, here we go. Did I just go into something? Yep. Because we... There we go, we can speed up now. So we're inside a starbase. We just went past... Abandoned fighter. Right, I've never seen that before. I just need to check something. Did you see that then? It just popped up. Scan abandoned. There we go. Oh, slow down. There's still power in most of the station. Some of these conduits are damaged. Keep an eye out for energy discharges. So where's this abandoned fighter that we just keeps flashing up on the screen? Hmm. Oh, is 
that it? Or is that the EPS conduit? Ah. Okay then, doesn't want to be found. What? Scorpion? Oh. Yo, I don't think it's anything important. Okay, now with this, we have to be really careful here. Oh! Kind of try and time this for when the force field isn't there. Otherwise, oh no! Well, that wasn't too bad actually, but sometimes it can take your entire shields down. And we're being attacked. Yeah, it's a very random mission, this. I never... Oops. I never thought they would actually do a mission where you fly inside a starbase. It's pretty cool. Oh, here we go. We can get through. Come on, speed up. Oh, it won't go any faster. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, we got through. That's the main thing. So I can't go... F there we go, full impulse. Right. What's Above in us, here? That's a Borg sphere. Ooh. The Tal Shiar must have used this base as a storage facility and research one. area for Borg technology. Electrical discharges, probably from ionization leaking from the sphere and research nodes. We should be cautious about flying too close to them. Right, you are. The Borg sphere is dormant, like it's been put to sleep. It's not the source of the strange readings that long-range scans detected. Looks like the spheres hooked into part of the local systems network. We should be able to exit through the other doors now. Probably a safety precaution to keep them locked. Okay. So the doors are down here. And we want to go this way according to the green arrow. Assuming it's going to be like the other one. Oh, no, it opens. Oh, gosh, it's more of those force fields. Should we just go for it? Ooh. See, collapse our entire shield. Come on, that's it. Go through, go through, go through. Speed up. See, once you get engaged or the ship gets attacked, it slows you down. Maybe because of the diverting powers of the defensive systems. Quite maneuverable, this shuttlecraft. Quiet in this area. Too quiet. Ooh, here we go. Whoa, blue. Oh wow, look at that. That's neat. Romulans and Borg technology. Thaleron reactor. Disturbing. We're looking at a facility used to build Thaleron weapons. If the Ravens have infiltrated this base, they may be trying to secure those weapons. Ah, so our intruder finally arrives at the heart of the matter. Have you seen all that you came to see, little spy? That should be obvious. I intend to make use of this station to further my agenda. Your presence, however, is a bit more curious. I expect that you are operating under the shroud of Empress Sela, whether you realize it or not. Never rely on the noble intentions of spies and thieves, Captain. And you and I are either one or the other. You are suitably informed now, I trust. Sadly for you, one of my ships has already finished loading the Thaleron weapons. So you have become the only loose end in my operation. I despise loose ends. I am afraid our time is at an end. My associates have already finished loading the Thaleron weapons that we need, and I have other operations to manage. I think we both know what happens now. May your death be quick and valorous. Okay. So we gotta fight.
fight on our hands. Don't mess with the Federation shuttlecraft. We saw the power of the shuttlecraft in Voyager. Oh. Where is he? There he is. Remember when Tom Paris took out that Kazon Raider in a shuttlecraft? Right, so... Escape, right. <laughs> I thought, what do we need to do? And then just look there, escape, explanation mark. Right, that means we've got to run for it. Uh-oh. Looks like they've rearmed for security. Open sesame. It's best to fight because you can't outrun them. You just get slowed down. When you're in combat, you can't go very fast. Cops are everywhere. They're avoiding my weapons as well, pretty well. Undiplomatic. <laughs> Gosh, they're sending everyone after us. Another one? Wow, must have been close. Wait, it's one we didn't finish off. They're hanging on, aren't they? There we go. Oh, I think I'm stuck in the roof here. What's going on? Oh, that's never happened before. We are stuck, well and truly. Interesting. There we go. Got stuck on some flypaper. Oh. Where are you? In fact, can we make them fly through the force field? Or are they immune to them? You know what? I wonder if they'll follow us or not. Oh, this is gonna hurt. I'm betting, though, their ships are weaker. In fact... Did one of them just get destroyed, then, by itself? Yep, yeah, look at that! <laughs> That's much more satisfying than uh, blowing them up. 
Ooh. The hull will repair very quickly. As soon as we go out of combat mode. There we go, look at that. Not bad, not bad. Gosh. This battle's gonna be a bit more trickier. Did we get him or they just cloaked? Swarmed here. My weapons are struggling to hit them. Oh man, look at the state of the shuttle. Awful. You think Starfleet would have maybe sent a couple of shuttles in for backup? We would detect it, weren't we, in the end, so what does it matter? I suppose getting in, though, is the hardest part. Mm. Ooh, that was brutal. I'm assuming the exit is behind here. Finding it hard to manoeuvre right now. This pesky Riemann. Gosh. Ooh. I'm liking the visuals on this level, definitely. Where are you? So I increase power to the weapons. See if that makes a difference. Gosh, look at the size of that thing. that was a mistake. So we've lost two shuttlecraft. Still, if this was Voyager, that wouldn't be a problem, would it? We have unlimited shuttlecraft. just let us out if we go over here. This fight seems a bit one-sided to me. Ah, door locking mechanism. Come on, get closer. It's disappeared. Blast the door locks. Uh, and how? Won't let me. Oh, there we go. So I could have avoided that fight. Oh, come on. Full impulse. I've diversity power to the engines and the aft shields. Oh, crumbs, we're getting hit from the front now. I think. Yep. There's no way we can fight all of those ships. I don't fancy taking on the entire Riemann. Empire in a Federation shuttlecraft. Oh no! Oh, it came back on. Did you see that? Half shields. Shields. That's it. That's it. That's it. Come on. Through. Thing is. They're gonna take damage. Yep, look at that. 
really a Using their own weapon against them. Heavy Warbird seems to be stuck in there, so that's good. Getting closer to the exit. Okay. Here we go. Wow, this place is massive. I'm getting Independence Day vibes as well from this place. Oh, here we go. Can we take him? Hmm. We've got to. This shuttlecraft is definitely punching above its weight. And boom! There we go. Uh oh, singularity. Ooh. So this is the door. Will it just let us out? Hey, there we go. We must stop Obasek's ship. They cannot be allowed to possess Thaleron weapons. We can use the subspace booster satellite outside the station to send a message to Starfleet as soon as we're clear of the interior. But Obasek's warship will almost certainly attack us when we do. We'll have to survive long enough for reinforcements to arrive. Reinforcements have arrived and are just past that Ooh, nebula. What's this? We don't have much time. We need to meet with our allies and stop that ship. Kind of in the middle of something. Research and development, eh? Well, I've never seen this before. I think I'm going to have to look at this separately. For now. Continue the mission. Oh gosh, is that what I think it is? Yes, it is. It's a Romulan Warbird. Ah, that's right, in a galaxy class. We are now in the micro nebula. USS Laza is signaling us. They're going to engage the Riemann ship, but they want us to take care of the fighters and plasma torpedoes. Hmm. Hey, hands off my galaxy class warbird. Oh. Where are these fighters? Now, this is definitely like Star Trek Shattered Universe, isn't it? If you remember in that game, we had to engage the fighters. Uh oh. Plasma torpedo. Ooh. They got the warbird? They have, I think. Good job. Well, that was quite an explosion. Probably from the Thaleron weapons carried aboard the ship. We're going to leave the system under high warp to draw off any reinforcements that might come looking. Suggest you return to Federation space. Is that the Master Chief from Halo? Or the Marine from Doom? Hmm. Let's get out of here. Don't warp into the station, don't warp into the st Oh, good. <laughs> Ooh, here we are, back on our nice, safe ship. Okay, so we need to go back to Starbase 39 for a debrief. Can we transwarp it? I'm not sure. Or will that just take us to where we are now? Eh, worth a try. Oh, that's... Oh, it has! Oh, good. You know, that would have been so funny if it just took us to where we just were. Because Transwarp... 
Well, no, warp 10 was where you occupy every area of the universe. Wouldn't it be funny if you travelled the entire universe just to get back to the same point? Let's go back to the starbase. The good news is, you get to keep the Federation shuttlecraft. I see, so these are weapons which you can only use on a fighter or a shuttle. But... Ooh. We can launch Scorpion fighters. Yeah, I'll take that. I have new missions for you. Well, there we have it. We've completed the Vault mission. Flying through a starbase in a Federation shuttlecraft was an experience, but I really enjoyed that mission. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye for now.